We're sitting here today with Jonah Wharton. We're so excited to have him here. He is a series regular on the TV show Lioness Special Ops, or is it oops. Special Ops? Oh, I got Lioness. it backwards already. Yeah. It was Lioness. They changed it to okay. Special Ops. Special Ops Lioness out on Paramount Plus. July 23rd. Uh, this show should be coming out in August, so it's out now, probably. Future Us, congratulate you on the premiere of your show. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Great thank actors you. on it. Really tough. Oh, yeah. Zoe Saldana, Nicole Kidman, Morgan Freeman. Uh, <laughs> Michael Kelly. Michael Kelly, and then Jonah Wharton. Yeah, that's a, a good group to be in. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. So much more that goes into a movie than just a character, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I'm looking at the characters, I, I, I'm impressed with people who do really different characters. It's an mm -hmm. impressive yeah. feat. Robert Duvall. You, know, you ever seen how many characters he does? Some are bad. Mm -hmm. Some are when in Academy. I, see, I don't know if you know. Mm -hmm. You probably don't. You, know, you no. probably don't watch that much shit. You're just busy working. <laughs> And getting laid because uh -huh. some of us mm -hmm. are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I know I never watched that much shit. Right. So Duval Weirdly. started doing uh, three lines, two lines. He was a cab driver in New York. You'll see. Uh, yeah. He just did two lines. Like he was in Taxi Driver, wasn't he? What was the thing that he has like two two or three lines in? I remember I watched it with you and I was like, oh my God, that's Robert Duval. It was like yeah. his first job. I don't think it was tech. I think it was a comedy cab driver. Great. Oh, no, it was <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not <quite>. forgettable. <laughs> no, but he only, was a cab driver. Yeah, the only reason <laughs> why you would even know is that you go like, oh my god, that, that was that's Robert Duvall. Yeah, but otherwise, uh, you know, it would just pass right past you. You know what I mean? It wouldn't. It wouldn't it register. Yeah, yeah, it was a day. It was, yeah. a, it was a day player that they course. added a line or two. Yeah. You know, might have even been an extra. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's interesting because it's like whenever you start out. Whatever you can get is what you take. And so then they're just going to cast you as what you are or close to it or whatever they think you are. Mm -hmm. When we, I remember, because, you know, you started going to class maybe a couple years before me or a year before or something like that. And I remember Aaron always being like, Jonah, you're going to play neo-Nazis. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> that's such a fucked up thing. But also you ended up playing a neo-Nazi. It was but, one of your I first did. jobs, wasn't it? I was street kid number two. <laughs> <laughs> for That's job. code for neo-Nazi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, street kid were, number two. You yeah. played a good role with it. No, I Don't I remember? Yeah. It was yeah. a fucking yeah, really Southland? Southland. Southland, yeah. yeah. I, play, I have played neo-Nazi. Didn't a you times. cut your hair and shit? No, I already had my hair cut. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, had it. you look that that uh, shit was great. It was so believable. That was one of no. my favorite roles. Thank that you. One. I remember. Yeah. I didn't know it was your favorite, but. Oh, I say know. thank you because I coached you. On. You did. You did. <laughs> it's yeah. only. I mean, you amazing. coached me for everything. Yeah. Thank you. That was All nice right. to say. All right. But uh, I remember that was when I realized. No, I saw it in class. You did it in class. You did something in class, and I said, "This fucking guy is ridiculous." You know. You mean he played a kind of a street character, yeah. or what? Different, different characters. But he played a lot of characters. But every time he get up, he got up. Good or bad, he was attempting to try to make it real. Right. He really listened to what we were we were talking about. Mm -hmm. you, you know, and he would be confused a lot of times. He would be yeah. like, yeah. First and foremost, is want to make it real. Yeah. Got like an aversion to fake. <laughs> but you have yes. fake shit. <laughs> that was already yeah. your gift that you added. Him. I don't even know if it was a gift. I just saw people acting. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> so do, I'm gonna avoid do that. doing Just that. Just don't do some fake shit. Yeah. I remember I was in another when I first started. I don't know. I don't even know if I was trying to act. I took some acting classes before I came to you. Sure. And they were terrible. I knew they were terrible. You knew they were. How did you know they were terrible? I mean, how did um, you? Um. Know? <laughs> I don't know. Because I just knew it was some bullshit. When I because I remember somebody did something natural. Mm -hmm. And the whole class like erupted, and they didn't even know how right. that happened. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, that's easy. You could just 
that part of it. Yeah. If you just decide to <laughs> not do too much, but yeah. they would always encourage me to yell, yell more. Be dramatic. Bring, be, yeah. bring passion. <laughs> Get up bring there and yell, and you passion. just start yelling until you're drooling. <laughs> that's that's like, great. That's, that's so, so great. I'm why like, is right. passion yelling? Why is passion crying? Bring passion. Yeah, I don't know. Whip out my dick and jerk off. Is that the kind of passion you want? Because that's passion, <laughs> no. baby. That's serious passion. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I want to tell you a story. No. Yeah. Real story. Oh, you want to tell a story? Yeah. A real story I want to tell you. you know. So, uh, on this very subject of how do you know you're starting out? How do you know what's good and what's yeah. bad? Mark, did you did you know what's you're Mark's a brilliant actor, by the way. Have you seen Mark? Yeah, he's great. He's brilliant. Oh, thank you. You and how did you I, know? Because I know you had other teachers. Yeah, I had I had uh, my f my first acting uh, coach. I just you know somebody said it was good. I went in, didn't really like it, um, but then I started going to several different ones, and I haven't remembered <laughs> this memory in so long. But there was they were they were telling people that they would. Two people would be on stage, and they would go and improv improvise and dramatic scenes, and then somebody else would go. And I forget what happened that two girls started making out. <laughs> okay. And then as they're making out, and then they like called me to go up, and I go up there, and I'm thinking like, okay, I'm it's about to be a three way kiss or something. Hey, yeah. like, okay, maybe maybe I did make the right choice. To move this is a good Detroit. acting class. I like this one. Already. And I get up there. <laughs> And then they just start like yelling at me and like, like it was like a, for like breaking it up or whatever the case, I thought it was gonna be amazing. And then I was like, what the hell? Like there's so many different, what you're talking about. I don't there either. Was an improvisation. It was improv. Yeah, it was, I don't, I, I haven't, I haven't thought about that in maybe a decade, <laughs> but I was trying all these different ones and, and I don't know if I didn't know that it was great acting, uh, coaching, but cause I had done like second city in Detroit a little bit. I had learned some, mm -hmm. some, some skills, I guess, but, but I did, what I did realize is when I saw it, when I went and saw Aaron coach, and that's when it clicked and I said, now he's speaking to me and that's how I can learn best. And mm -hmm. that's what the people in Aaron's class and your guys' class is like, we get it and it works for us. And we're so dedicated to that style that we, we don't care to go anywhere else because it just works. Yeah, I think uh, the thing, so uh, you know the story, but, uh, I had finished up grad school and I spent like a year in LA doing background work and getting fat and uh, getting depressed as well. And so I was like, you know, maybe I need to get back into class. And um, so uh, a manager at the time suggested that I come to a couple of different studios. I went to Aaron's studio. And first of all, he sounded a lot like my teacher in grad school who was amazing, Svetlana Efremova, meaning he wasn't Russian, but he definitely had a similar point of view in terms of making it real, a, a solid foundation, technique, all of that stuff. But then you came in and did a scene and it was, by the way, it wasn't even like it was like such amazing writing. I think it was Just Married. Do you remember that movie with Brittany Murphy and Ashton Kutcher? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think I remember the, yeah. the scene you're talking about. Yeah. And yeah. so you're doing this scene and you like come in the door and you like kind of flop down on the bed and she's upset about something. And then the two of you are talking. And all I thought was like, God damn, that guy is real. It's like nothing is actually, it's like we are not here at all. He's not doing anything for our benefit. He's having a real conversation with this woman who is his wife. She's upset. He can't figure out why. All of that shit was like, oh, I found the right place. Okay, great. Because it's such a relief to watch people not do fake shit. And when they really have that kind of concentration in terms of like freedom and presence, it's it's like a magnet. You can't look away, really. And uh, that was how I ended up. So it wasn't necessarily because of him. It's because of you. You can uh, oh, congratulate I yourself. For I that. give credit for <laughs> all my students. I don't think it is me. I think when when they see like you or Mark or Kay when she's you know or any of those hot actors, you know, they say I want to do what they're doing. You you, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And and. Uh, it is attractive because that's what the writers wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. 
they, they really want that. That's all they want. They wrote <laughs> some shit and make it real. Make, make the shit that they wrote real. Right? Isn't yeah. that yeah. what they, they want? Yeah. And, and then they're so happy, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because they that's made your point. thing come to life. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's what they intended when, un- unless, unless there's a special thing, you know, you know, uh, stylistic, mm-hmm. where they in- intentionally want it bad, but usually, but usually they, they're no, because no, they don't know what they want. No, it's a, they, the, you know, they yeah, say that. Into this all the time. No, just make it real. And if you can bring a crazy, zany character on top of that. Right. That's right. And sure. Oh, but let's, well, just be. Let's look at that movie. First. Uh, uh, the the one the midnight the one that's always on midnight uh, Rocky the Rocky Rocky Horror, Horror Picture Show Rocky Horror, Rocky Horror Picture, Picture Show. Show yeah people think that that's not real that has got to be one of the funniest fucking movies it is it's I think it's real uh, well <laughs> let's it's look at real what on that, the basis of the these what extremely that unique characters well, he he's he's what from another planet or something Trans- yes. Right? Yes. Well, no, see, I know. Transylvania. But Transylvania, <laughs> Transylvania is actually a, a, a city or a country. Yeah, yes. Trans, so he's thinking. Right, right. <laughs> but he's like some kind of thing. And he's brilliant. There's an actor, by the way, who is can do character work, all kinds of character work. Yeah, he's amazing. Who's that? Uh, Curry. Guy- okay. Curry. Who? Yes, Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Tim see, Curry. I remember the last name. Did you ever see uh, the I Rocky? Probably shouldn't get into stuff that I haven't seen. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, I hardly oh. watch anything. Uh, oh, it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. So, it's okay. I watch real life. Right, right, right. right. Well, real well, life. Yeah. You know, if you want to give Taryn a treat, cue up Rocky Horror All Picture right. Show some night. Smoke a joint. <laughs> yeah. And turn on Rocky Horror because right. it is really fun and uh, if you want to laugh, extremely dramatic. Mm-hmm. It, in a very it's funny a comedy, way. <laughs> and it's a musical. Shit, it's a musical, but it's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people don't like it because it deals with all kinds of really crazy sexual issues. Mm-hmm. They're all taking drugs. They're, they're all they're fucking each other. They're all sucking and each other. Gay and uh, transsexual and all of the things. They're, they're everything. They're, yeah, it was well, way ahead of its they time. They stumble. Uh, two innocent like midwesterners yeah right yeah. a girl like Kay. yes mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah that's She's me midwesterner yeah. <laughs> yeah. and and her nerd husband uh-huh. played mm-hmm. by a great uh, yeah. Barry Bostwick. <laughs> and and the woman was Susan what? Sarandon Susan Sarandon early Susan Sarandon talk about a great actress there plays characters you know mm-hmm. who she is yeah right? and uh they stumble at, they run out of gas or something, shit like that. And they stumble upon this, this crazy house, you know, where everyone's crazy and they sing and they're killing each other and they're fucking each other. <laughs> but underneath all of that, it's underneath. natural and real. Because <laughs> the characters yeah. are wild. Yeah. The characters are wild. Yep. Yeah. So you got to start from you got to start underneath from all yeah. that. I'm from there, you, you develop real. skills and other wild characters if you can. But yeah, if you can't make it real. It's a very difficult thing to make the Rocky Horror Show yeah. real. Do you remember how you found Aaron? How did you end up going there? Um, I don't remember exactly what brought me to the class. At the uh-huh. day. Where are you from? So, you know, I always forget. Um, San Francisco. Yeah. Bay or Bay Area. Bay Area. Sausalito, I grew up on a houseboat in Sausalito. I, I knew that. Super cool. Right outside of San Francisco, yeah. yeah. I couldn't, I'd, I'd be area. sick all the time. I get, I get seasick. Yeah. So Does I your mom be, still have the houseboat? No, she sold it. Oh, she sold it. Yeah. That hurts. So, yeah. There was, she bought it for $75. She bought and it now, for $75? Now yeah. it's worth 90 <laughs> No, no, she's, anyway. I Whoa! I don't want to get into all that. She sold okay. it for way too long. No, no, it's okay. Oh, now sorry. it's like yeah. a cool place to live. Yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah. Well, well you know. What like got a, you down yeah. to L.A.? How um, old were you? I was 19 when I came to L.A. He was a baby. You still yeah. look like a baby. Yeah. He just he just <laughs> grows that hair yeah. and he fills in with color. You know what uh-huh. I mean? So he looks uh-huh. a little exactly, older. Exactly. Yeah. Came to L.A. in 2002. Yeah. Um, didn't want to act. I, I didn't even 
You're just hanging out. I, I was working at a restaurant. I remember the uh, waitress at the restaurant was an aspiring actor, and I thought that was hilarious because <laughs> I thought that was just one of those stereotypes that oh isn't God. really true. She wants to be an actor. <laughs> like, okay. How embarrassing. So I, no, it wasn't did you have any money? <laughs> no, no money. Did you have? Did you was, make money at the restaurant? I made a little money. At the, no, not really. You I lived there. With I was a going to school. I, I, yeah. Oh, where? Where did you go to school? I went to West LA College. Oh, then, okay. Yeah, so you're just going to community track, college. Yeah, I was going to community college and just trying to survive. I played. I, I lived. I played there. basketball. Where? West LA College. You lived at West LA College. No, no, Culver City. near there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really did. That's what was. Uh, I liked yeah. it. I thought it was a nice neighborhood. I, th- yeah, I still nice think there. it's a nice yeah. neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I was just trying to survive back then. I had. I played basketball, so I went to a small uh, I community did. college you in Santa Maria. Played basketball. Yeah. You mean went, like you could really hoop? I could Good play enough well to enough to play for community end college. up going to the middle of nowhere and uh, redshirting on a oh. community college team. How yeah, tall are you? Six feet. Okay, you could be do guard. Yeah, point guard. Yeah. But, you know, that didn't work out. Well, um, yeah, but we so all got anyway. But being an actor, that was that was dumb. So <laughs> I decided to do something more sensible. Wait, was, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was obsessed with this? basketball as a there kid. You go. I was obsessed. I, I am, okay. but I, I no, know I'd at 5'8", like, it just wasn't going to was was work. I got hurt all the time because I just like have break into the gym every night yeah. um, and play by myself from like 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. I'd never sleep. And then I kept getting hurt because I'd be like going to practice on no sleep and oh man, uh, practicing That's so all funny. wrong. I was, just, I was just working hard, but yeah. terrible. I'd just be like, yeah. No mentors? Yeah, no mentor, no, no good guides. teachers. No, had no, no. guides. And, Shit. And I, I had chose the same, basketball where I had didn't same have the natural thing. Yeah. No fucking mental. You know, sleep is the number one thing. And I think when you're younger, you get away with it. You really yeah. are like, ah, it's okay. I'm all right. Because you like pop out of a bed like a daisy and it feels like you're okay. But it's like sleep is the number one thing that will fuck yeah. you up because your body yep. can't recover. And it doesn't matter if you're turns 20. Out it's important. Yeah. It turns out. Surprise, surprise. Yep. It, it wasn't I think, until I met. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I think that's the number one thing that. Why I, do you keep interrupting our yeah. star guest? Jeez. You know, you just. Talk, talk, oh, talk. This motherfucker here arrived. is the star <laughs> guest. The day has arrived. No, go ahead. You know, you're not fucking with me. Go ahead. No, no. I'm, I apologize. I absolutely I apologize to the whole world. My mother apologizes to her, my father, my whole family. I was just fucking with her. Go you ahead. know that Aaron put in his, it, he puts in his phone, don't interrupt K. It it's literally true. comes up every single day as a reminder. Three, three and, times. And it's been, he's got it in there for years. And we have yeah. seen an incremental change. Come on, honest. You have seen it, a change. I just said, yeah. You, you said incremental motherfucker. Look up the <laughs> definition of incremental. Okay. People are who they are. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Now you at this point that's on you. Now they're all ganging up on me. (laughs) People are who they are. I was just trying to get him to have a word in. What? I've got the definition. Oh, good. What's the definition of incremental? Denoting a small positive or negative change in a variable quantity or function. There you go. Yeah, but small small (laughs) is the key here. We got it. Yes. I think, and then I'm not going to talk. That it was, it's been a lot more than small. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I, I have no clue what I was saying before You're this. Saying so. how <laughs> underrated See, sleep is. That's very why yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, the yeah, coach. Because yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> you get your sleep, then. Yeah. I just think it's the number one area where everybody feels they can steal from their sleep. You can't steal. You can't do that. You, I know. It's not and I think it's the worst thing of it. Anyway, continue. No, no, I um, want to hear more. You, you were talking about. Well, Mike Chat came, um, Mike Chat, who I think we might have on the podcast um, either after this or, you know, later. But um, what I love about, he's so inspirational and um, he does, he does stunts. He's um, runs a gym called XMA, Extreme Martial Arts, where he teaches other people to do stunts. What was, works. The, what was the name of the train thing that, you know? Uh, the, the the huge thing with Brad Pitt. That's oh, Bullet Train. Bullet yes, Train. He worked on he, Bullet he Train. He works. You know, he does all big. kinds of stunt coordinating stuff. Anyway, he's brilliant. An actor as well. He was the Blue Power Ranger. But the thing he always says is like, everybody would love if you could take a pill that would make your skin clear, your energy levels high, and you would um, keep a steady weight. And everyone in the world would take that pill if it were available. But the pill is sleep. Is it? And it nobody is. will take it. It is the pill. Yep. 
That's brilliant when he says yep. that. Sleep. Because you can't you can't yeah. buy it. It's called sleep. Yep. Anyway. So you, I'm trying to sleep and you wake me up, you're trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I right. remember that, yeah. Aaron. That's good. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we um, were talking about, um, well. He was at, we were at, he came down, yes. West L.A., playing basketball. No mentors. Yeah. No not mentors. Sleeping. See, I told not, you, yeah. I don't want to bring it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Just man. Just running these streets, trying to pay rent and, <laughs> be, you know, and doing stupid shit. And, um. Yeah, just once it wasn't basketball, for I just kind of like floundered around for a while, mm -hmm. just trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and and I kind of got the idea maybe I could act because I I got lucky and got cast in a commercial. And Get out of oh, here! Well, that's an easy way to make money. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I did a Burger King commercial. Lucky? How, how did that? What what does um, that mean? Lucky? I went to you a, with a girl who you know your best friend or what? What does that mean? Lucky? Um, I I was. Uh, well, I was dating a girl who was a, uh, a dancer at the time, professional dancer, um, and uh, she put she got me with their commercial agent. Cool. And I remember I went into uh, to I had like last minute Burger King audition. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, can you get there by two thirty? They, you know, I was like, okay. I went down there and I sat and you know they said, okay, you're riding in the car and you're eating a Whopper, but it's on hydraulics. Can you do that? And I sat there with that. <laughs> like that's great <laughs> and then i guess i was replacing somebody and that they're like can you shoot tonight oh yeah definitely like, all right yeah and then i did a, a burger king commercial and i was like shit that's easy and i was, I was like hearing about residuals you're gonna get thousands of dollars thirty forty thousand dollars from this i was like great maybe i should act <laughs> this is a good way to make money this is easy Man, that's the best and, uh, reason to to yeah. act in the world if you yeah. can make money. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of that planted the seed, and then nothing happened. But I just figured I would get cast in something. But I didn't audition or do anything. I just sat around and well, I didn't know anything. So I, I, know, a while. I eventually got convinced to go to you know try some acting classes. So I tried that, and um, like I said, there. Were pretty terrible but mm -hmm. I was getting a good response in acting classes I figured I had uh, a little bit of talent because everybody liked what I was doing up there I get up there and do crazy voices or characters I don't know I just let loose I'm like okay I right, right. That. so I had that That's so acting, I figured yeah. all right well I have a little natural talent in this maybe <laughs> I should just really focus on that but I didn't really have any respect for it and it wasn't until I came to your class that I was like oh oh I Okay, so you can actually work on this and get better. It's mm -hmm. not just about yelling louder. Because, like, <laughs> I think I'm pretty much maxed out on that. And, um, but was, so, yeah, it was just once I, once I realized that. Mm -hmm. And then you were the first, uh, like, good teacher that I've probably ever had. I didn't go to the best schools. I never had, like, a great. You didn't uh, make it to Juilliard. I mean, I wasn't even in. I know, no, I, I was. Even, it was a little I, bit of yeah. a joke. I didn't go to yeah. Juilliard either. Yeah. You know, it's a whole world of if you're the I'm kind of person. I'm not even talking about acting teachers. I'm yeah. just talking about any teacher. Yeah, right. yeah. human, human yeah. Right. teacher. Right. Yeah. Now I remember. I do remember telling you like you have something really special, and I remember you looking at me just like you're looking at me now. You're like, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> I was wondering if he thought I was coming on to you or something, you know, because he just looked at me like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone, was that the first one to tell you that? Even a girl didn't tell you that? Baby, you got something special. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what I was thinking. I thought that was great. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. No, um, um, it's weird when someone tells you something. They see something. I tell yeah. Kay and I talk about this all the time. About certain people see things differently. I don't. I don't uh -huh. mean it's a mystical gift, but they do see things. They are seers. Yeah. Well, if you pay attention, it, it <clears throat> seems mystical. That's but it really right. just comes from paying attention and that's not getting. Yeah. But you know, see what, what pulled you're in different directions by whatever. Yeah. What you're saying is deep. You're saying yeah. pay attention. Yeah, no, because I've learned that from you. I didn't have that. I know it was a gift that you have. I know you've said you've had it no, since a No, it's a kid. gift you have yeah. too. Well, I, I did it. have it I since it. I was yeah. a kid, but I think I learned it now. Yeah. Well, it who, depends who how you knows? Learn it. Yeah, I more consciously learned it. 
you know, it's a fascinating concept of, is it really something you're born with that you just have? Mm -hmm. Or is it something that you're born with that someone has to turn on? Well, I was just listening to an interview with Bill Hader, you know, Bill Hader Uh from Barry and everything. He was, so he was saying, because they were asking him about his ability to do uh, impressions, like vocal impressions. And he said, actually, I, I do impressions partly because uh, it's called appropriation. When I get really nervous and I'm talking to somebody, I start to imitate them as a way of getting them to like me better. <laughs> well, that it, whatever, that's what everybody does. That's, yes, that's just but life. he got really good at it. He's, In other yeah, words, his social anxiety got so, it's so powerful that it was a skill set that he learned deeply from a very young age that he was trying to kind of fit into a tribe. And yeah. so... He he developed a skill based on pain. Yeah, he's great well, on it. He's great yeah. at it. You're he's just getting, uh, yeah. I mean, a, a great actor can like turn that up, I guess. But that's yes. everybody. That's just life. That's whatever yep. tribe you're in. You're you're imitating whoever you're around to that's fit in. That's true. But some people are less and, agreeable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some people are less interested in doing that. Like in yeah. other words, your level of social anxiety might might differ. Yeah. Some people are are really not necessarily trying to imitate you. Or well, either me. you're doing it consciously to really try or you just, it happens naturally. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's the only way you, I mean, we only speak English with this yes. accent that we have because we're imitating. Yes, but that's you right. Pay attention. Yeah. That's a, it's so much harder. In other words, at some point you, you decided to pay attention, whether yeah. you were told to or not. You know yeah. how many people I tell to pay attention and they, don't yeah. pay attention. The yeah. vast majority. Yeah. You know. So yeah, I don't know what where what which part is the the talent or which mm-hmm. is the gift or and what's the yeah, skill that you acquired? I don't know. I yeah. think maybe just the uh for me, I don't know if I it would just be a focus. Like I'm just like once I decide to do something, I just like focus on that and mm-hmm. I'm not going to deviate from it. So Yeah, it's funny. You could it's, call it's like a, there's different words to des- to describe the same set of um, characteristics. It's like one person calls it focus, another person calls it stubborn, right? In other words, like yeah. you are so determined to go down this path that you didn't allow years of difficulty deter you. Yeah. That's 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 also a gift, by the way. A lot of people can't tolerate the pain. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, I don't, I don't think about that. I just focus on what I'm trying to do. That's it. Yeah. Um, so the, the, I think the first scene I did uh, to maybe the, where it started to click as something, I did a scene, my first scene in acting class, uh, was like, the Goodwill hunting scene, like, oh, no, that's yeah. a horrible fucking That's a terrible class scene. Us, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> we try not to do that one in class. It's yeah, yeah, too, it's too much. But I didn't. I was just like, all right, everywhere I went before, they just said, you know, yell a lot so I can get up and yell. That's a good this. yelling one. It's a good yelling so scene. I started off the scene, and I didn't even get to that. I was just probably just laying there like, <laughs> let me just turn up this and. And uh, Aaron, you said, okay, okay, everybody wants to do this scene. They start an acting class, and it's always terrible. <laughs> and this was no different. Oh yes! So that was the first thing you told me. The first time <laughs> I, said I got it me. was no different. It's, yeah. never, it, it's terrible, and it's no different. Yeah, you said it was terrible. <laughs> um, and I was like, I just remember we're here, and I was like, I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought that I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and oh, then that's cool. yeah, he's like, okay, okay, let's just. We're not even going to get to all this other shit. You're not even ready for that. Let's just see if we can get a couple words out. <laughs> hey, let's just do the beginning of the scene. And let's you said, I'm gonna show, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Yeah. And then we did like a couple lines, and it was just before you get to all of the, you know, yeah. the thing that sets sets them off in that scene. And yeah. Like, see, that was good. A couple words out. And, and you did it good. And I did. I was like, oh, yeah. Felt okay. real. I was like, all right, yeah, that, that makes so much more sense. And I was like, right. okay, all right, I got it. I mean, I didn't get it, but I was like, I got what I was trying to do. I didn't know what I was trying to do before. Yeah. You got the first yeah. real so, uh, breakthrough. Yeah, and I just appreciated, I remember really appreciating you saying that was terrible because I was like, I, 
I knew it. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. <laughs> Finally. Somebody you. knows. Somebody knows. And you know, <laughs> somebody knows. Because I mean, the last time I had taken a class before that I had got up and I just, I don't know, they were doing like some showcase where you just, you know, I don't know if agents or casting or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck they said was coming there to watch and kind of rehearse the scene and just like, yell and bring all this passion. And I did it and it was time to go do it. I was like, I just don't want to fucking yell. Like just, that wasn't what it was about. I mm -hmm. just was, and I started just doing something really natural. And he's like, no, no, no. Yell, bring it. And I was like, all right, I'm done with this shit. Girls got to cry. Yeah. Guys got to yell. Yeah. And then if the guy's really talented, He'll he can cry, cry and yeah. yell. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cliche, yeah. but it's true. I mean, I think that's like, oh, that's, you know, there, there's such a thing about a particular kind of an emotionality that everybody gets obsessed with, especially at the beginning of their career. And I think, you know, there's... I want to yeah. explore one little thing further. What you, when I said it was terrible, uh -huh. you know, because I still do that. Uh -huh. And I tell, you know, and the whole, but things have changed because... It used to be the classes were tougher. The people were kind of tougher. Because when uh -huh. I do it now, I said, well, look, that was shit what you just did. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, we're going to fix it easily. But you need to know that was shit so you don't do it again. You know? Yeah. And the whole class goes, oh. <laughs> you know, the whole, it's like there's this intent, like, oh, my God, did he say it was shit? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it's maybe. shit. What are you what are you taking a class for? Right. I mean, people take classes for different reasons. Yeah, no, they a, do. A lot you of know. people are taking classes to be told they're wonderful. Yeah, and you that's know. the thing is like so you, you actually don't know which reason they're taking it for. Well, you can kind of figure it out. <laughs> by yeah. paying attention. But I will. Yes, that's <laughs> that's, that's attention. right. That's, that's right. right. Paying attention. But yeah. we will get to wonderful. And I will absolutely say it's wonderful. It's like, that's it. It's wonderful. It's, you know. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to say it's wonderful when it's shit. It's not and also I have yeah. gradations uh -huh. of shit. Yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> there's the 10 shit. <laughs> Then uh -huh. you're moving up to the five, which is, oh, it's pretty good. Well, if you say some shit is wonderful, <laughs> then you have no credibility when you yeah. say it's wonderful. Right, So, and then we yeah. get to it's wonderful. Yeah. I have to have a, you know, a palette to paint yeah. with in, in our work. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, it's just what are you, what are you there for? What are you, are you, what is your purpose for doing what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Acting, you have to be very um, aware of that. Um and it really helps in life too. So if you're in class, if you're there to get, I guess that's why I was there. Mm -hmm. So then I didn't, I didn't hear like that shit as a criticism of who I am as a person and oh, I love whatever the f you know, yeah. All that shit. That's like, not no. a criticism of you just, as a person. Just, that, yeah, it's you helping me get better. Such an ability to persevere, you know, to mm -hmm. hang in. Yeah, that was another gift of you. When f it didn't take that long, a couple of years, but then you started booking. Yeah. Y you know, you got some really nice roles, uh -huh. cool roles. Several neo-Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> a few kids from the wrong side of the tracks. Uh -huh. That was like, yeah. that was like your wheelhouse. You had a, yeah. a bank robber, if I remember. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Criminals. <laughs> Good at robbing people. <laughs> yeah. <right. Yeah. laughs> And it's funny because that's the opposite of what you are, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't mean that you haven't been on the wrong side of the track. I have, uh -huh. you know, she hasn't, yeah. you know. I was not born on the wrong No, <laughs> I was Yeah, I have not been on that. the wrong side. Of the track. I have never robbed a bank. Though. Right. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, right. I have actually, so weird. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Michael Mann has some great stories about when they did uh, Heat. Heat. You know the movie Heat uh -huh. with De Niro and Pacino and and all these guys, you know? And they have a, that's their big set piece, the bank robbery. Yeah. And, and that goes wrong, you know? Yeah. And the preparation that they did, uh, most people really don't understand how much they care. All those actors mm -hmm. were fabulous actors. 
mm-hmm. and they cared. They actually got permission from the a bank so that mm-hmm. they could go in and case it like they were going to rob it. Yeah, but they had you know they had to work yeah. that out you know case. They actually did that. Well, that's that's, that's real preparation. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, that's real preparation. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Michael got them, you know, and they all and they prepared Mm -hmm. like they were, you know. Yeah, you can do that when you're working on a big budget. (laughs) I know. That's right. And don't try that. Don't try that. Don't try that. Just trying to learn how that. You know, do not try that. There's a lot of research that you can do that doesn't involve actually casing the bank, though. The the internet really has improved. There's a benefit when you're working. When you get to finally work, then you really get. Thank God we have you here because they were going to go out and try it. Don't try to fly the helicopter. <laughs> you got those lessons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I have a question for you, yeah. Jonah, because you, so you, you booked a, a lot of stuff, like, you know, kind of, you, you, you got going, you had some representations, you st- started getting mm-hmm. some real auditions, and then mm-hmm. you were booking, and then it just, and I don't mean to say that it dried up, but it just like, you just really couldn't, you nothing was happening for a little while it seemed yeah. like anyway would you uh, say that's accurate or maybe things were happening but it just it seemed like there was just a time where it was like either they weren't sure where to put you in other words you had grown up you weren't a boy anymore you were a man i just and, never got a ton of opportunities yeah it wasn't mm-hmm. like i was auditioning a bunch yeah, i was yeah. like when i started booking we're talking about co-star so it was easy to book like one or two lines but yeah. it still wasn't like you know, yeah. I get like 10, 12 in a year. And then one even year then I got you like eight really... auditions in a year, but I booked a few of them. Yeah. But it was just, you know. Yeah, eight is so small. Yeah. Right. So it was yeah. just, just opportunities. Bree yeah. Turner was on here earlier. I did, did an episode. Yeah. She used to get eight a week. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that interesting? It's like why are, why some people will have a shit ton of opportunities too much actually in other words the, the amount of auditions that they get why is do some people you, i don't know you get you get in the right spot with yeah. the right person yeah. and they can right, get yeah. you that flood of auditions and, then and you can get a bunch and then yeah. come, some people get that and then they're no good and then mm-hmm. that really like kills their their confidence because they get all these auditions they don't get anything yeah i don't know so i just a couple of years i just five. focus on to but it was frustrating to answer your question that's like, what i'm asking yeah, yeah yeah it was um i mean it's, it's frustrating because i'm like i know i'm good i mean i, I yeah. couldn't get an audition for two years after That's studying. What I mean. That's what and I mean. then one of my first things, I finally got an agent, but I wasn't getting audition. I was like, okay. I, yeah, you and have I an agent became a fake them. manager and I pitched myself for something. So I just like oh, got wow. in and, and then booked that way. So I was just like <laughs> lying and doing whatever I could to get oh, in. God. Um, That's. But. Damn. All I've got to say is. That. That's impressive. Um, but I, as far as like the dead beards, all that is frustrating, but I just, it was just pissed me off so I just kind of focus on the craft and that's all I I don't know like this just maintain that focus I'm like all right well I'll just keep getting better in the meantime and uh that's the only part I can control and just Whoa. that's you know, the keep only working part. on it. yeah so that's just, fucking just focus on getting better that's the only part you can control all the other stuff like whatever I don't know but it helped it helped doing coaching and 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 doing stuff here and there I remember I did a student film which was I think it was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. No, so that no. gave me some confidence. I'm I like, well, I, films. I did. I, you know, I'm like, okay, I can see. I'm, I saw myself. I'm like, all right, that was good. So I'm not crazy because yeah. I just thought I was good. And I'll get some feedback in class. And all right, I think I'm good. But then you got to see something. So that yeah. that helped. And then coaching and then the stuff that I told people who were getting those opportunities, that would work. And yeah, so that kind of like, good. I think that just kind of as far as the confidence level just kept me going. But other yeah. than that, just I just think if I was ever frustrated, I was just like, all right, well, let me just. But you made a, a decision at some point to change your look. Um, you know what I'm talking about? You did. You decided to bulk up. Oh, yeah. I Well, th- that happened because I, I, I booked a... That wasn't even a... Uh, the way that happened is I no, just... No, um, no. I booked that that movie, which is going to be... That was going to be my break. Which the uh, The Air Force? No. Oh. Ghetto Plainsman. Oh, I was gonna yeah. Uh, get yes, 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 yes. Remember? You, you coached me for it. Yeah, I know, but I can't, rem- <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Tell me, and I'll remember. Yeah, playing. Uh, uh, he was a. Dr- you were like a drug dealer. Drug who- dealer, like a gay <laughs> drug dealers. <laughs> 
turn environmental actor. It's actually a great yeah, script. Yeah, it was a really like, interesting character. A really right? interesting about character work. Character yeah. and, it was, you know, some yeah. big names attached. And I was... And then I got that, and then the director said, "Hey, can you can you put on ten pounds of muscle?" So oh. I had you know um, six weeks or whatever before he started. So I just got in the gym, bulked up as fast as I could, mm -hmm. and then um, you know a week before we were about to start shooting, funding fell apart and everything. Like, oh shit! And everything like um, it does sometimes went yeah. away. Um, I didn't know the story. I mean, right. I know about ghetto planes, but you I didn't know, know about the bulking. Yeah, yeah so that's yeah. what. I, and then when I bulked up, I'm like, okay, this kind of this makes sense. This kind of fits because I was always doing intimidating. You know, I could do the intimidating thing, but I'd go in there and I'd be like, something's not right because I'm around all these like big guys, big guys who are intimidating when you look at them. Right, and, and you were like, intimidating maybe in your demeanor. I can, or I can do can, some crazy yeah. shit, but I'm not just <laughs> like I'm not the guy just physically. You physically without saying anything. Imposing, like, oh. right? Um. So, but that was just kind of chance. I just went for it and, you know, um, that helped and getting older. Yeah. But that, it, um, yeah, that, that, uh, that was an interesting time getting that movie because I kind of saw things shift, mm -hmm. but that was just really encouraging to me. I was like, okay, so I know what I got the book. I know like other shit happens and then it fell through. So everybody was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, no, it's fine. I, it's yeah. just confirmation. I got it. But that's so amazing, yeah. though, is like the ability to not uh, let that take you down. I don't no, know. I, I think just focus on getting better. Just focus on. I had that. two that's years it. like that. I quit. That's when yeah. I quit acting. Uh, I had two years where I lost representation. I had no auditions. Yeah. And, and I was 33. And I, uh, emotionally, I just couldn't take it. Interesting. And that's when I quit. Yeah. No, I, I, was just, a, I was just all in. I was like, that wasn't a never, like, occurred to me really to, to quit no like, I, no, I, I no this is what great. i'm doing mm -hmm. i just decided and it, that's it's, that's it. No. it the level that it also you have to be able to take it because i don't think i could take it i was yeah. not strong enough i know yeah because it starts not being great when you're like coming up on 40 and kind of <laughs> <laughs> just poor <laughs> what do you, what's going on like yeah I know. no college degree can't pay the rent. Can barely pay. The, yeah, that barely. Yeah. You know, I mean, no, that was that's what yeah. drove me crazy. The so, rent. You know that that uh, yeah, that that wasn't fun. <gasps> but I was like, well, I know I'm good, so I'll keep going. And you were coaching know. a lot too. I mean, you. Yeah, it doesn't. The coaching kind of that that helped as far as just yeah. you know, I'm sure that helped that I just wasn't sitting in my room thinking of that I got right. like I got good feedback. Yeah. From People tell, other actors, you know, other actors, yeah. we're all telling yeah, they were booking, and yeah. you know that's you know it's, oh, he was he was coaching, and people people were booking like crazy with your coaching. Yeah, they really were. You yeah. might not have thought that. You might have thought, well, a couple of people are booking ma major no, roles. That. It was, was amazing. Like, Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> right? They're booking on your shit, but obviously, yeah. I know something. Jeez, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, it was good. It was it was it was a good feeling, and it was also kind of like lit more of a fire. Like, all right. I think too something about coaching is like it when you really see it happening in real life. It also helps you relax more because you really see suddenly in front of you like, oh, half of this is just being really present and in your body and relaxed. And so then mm. all of a sudden you're like, oh, maybe it's not such a big deal. Like I don't have to make something happen. I really have to just live. And part of the coaching process is like, you see it in front of you, like people like freaking out, like breaking out in hives and you're like, okay. Wait. Therefore it just gets easier. Let's talk about your process a little more. So ghetto plainsmen, mm. uh, the actual thing you're working on, can we mention it or is that? Yeah. Is, yeah. So the the actual thing. When does it premiere? July 23rd. Okay. Special Lioness. Ops, Lioness. Lioness. July 23rd. Taylor Sheridan. Great scripts. Yeah. Really just just wonderful, yeah. you know. And Taylor Sheridan is the best in the world. What the hell? Yep. You know. Your process. So mm. going back to when you started booking, like ghetto plainsmen or uh -huh. things after that so you book the role already yeah let's start do you have a s pretty much same process w in other words how do you 
Does it depend on how much time you have? Give me some ideas of what. I mean, it just depends. It depends on it depends on the role. It depends on how much. Yeah, it depends on how much time I have. Um, there's that part when you f- first get a role, and you're like trying to cram everything at once, and like, wait, what is relevant right now? It's not really relevant to write a whole backstory. When I don't even know who the fuck. <laughs> you know, it's like the backstory what? kills me. Yeah, because so many people get lost. I know it's, they totally misunderstand. Yeah, the backstory. it's it's like uh, it's, it's kind of it turns into a <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And it's like an intellectual me, game of yeah. like, oh, and actually, let me brag about three. all the work I've done. <laughs> yes, so yeah, I agree. Right. You might not think this is good, but <laughs> <laughs> I've done this work, so at least you know I'm good. Not yes, based yeah. on what I've done, <laughs> what you see. Mm-hmm. Right, so it um, depends on your time. Yeah, it depends on time. Um, hmm. So like, I don't know how to just well, let's go. Well, my let's look process, at the one but, you did right now. Uh, um, you you obviously read the you read the script the, yeah. the current one. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, so Linus. read, if, assuming I have the time. Uh, yeah, C- always start assuming with, you have the time. Start um start with just yeah just reading the script and then you get you more than once or just once. More than once. I mean, yeah. I I read I read the whole thing and I go back to different parts of it. It just depends. I mean, some stuff you kind of get the idea right away. It's right. it's not like I got to read the script. 10 times right away and maybe right. there's no one formula yeah. in terms of that no Sometimes. it's kind of intuitive i just kind of feel like i know what i need to work right. on like okay i got this and then um uh so for for linus that i'm working on now i figured my demeanor just how i am already just kind of is one of these guys i'm playing like a special ops um maybe it's not really given exactly what the background is but probably like a navy seal right um and then the best of the best special ops military guy. Um, right. Within that yeah. thing, they took you and gave you more training. So yeah. whatever it was, you then became something yeah. special. Yeah. So there's just the the external part about just you just want to look the part. If you don't look right. the part, it doesn't matter. Then you gotta right just kind of have the demeanor and the the yeah just just the demeanor. I guess would be yeah. you got to know who you are. So I got, I know who I am. So. If, if I already got that, it's not much to really work on with mm-hmm. that. And then just, uh, I mean, the the advantage I had working on this show is that I was able to talk with guys who are the real deal, both on the show and then connected with people um, through the show. It's off the show. I was able to talk with a guy who did counter espionage and was this thing for real. No, Doing I surveillance and... And you know That's Navy amazing. Seal, yeah. and, le- and like just learn hi- learn his whole story, and just um, that's incredible gotta, yeah. to get that kind so of access. A, yeah, so that that's a, you don't always get that, but that was great. Um, so you take it all in, and then it's just really getting the just learning the the point of view mm-hmm. of the character, whoever that is, and that inf- you know that informs a lot of the behavior too. Mm. Um, so I'm always, I guess. My process, the way I'm looking at it is I'm always 100% playing myself in that's great. in every in every role, I love no matter what it is. That's brilliant. 100 It's not like, tell- oh, I turn up this part of myself, or no, I don't look at it. I'm 100% myself, but the world that I'm going into changes. Mm-hmm. So then I'm just going to act according to whatever the rules of this the world of the are. World, yeah. So if I'm in a world where somebody might attack me at any moment, you might call that paranoid, <laughs> but I'm actually just surviving. I yes. mean, we're, you know, so Based on the, the context change, the, you know, the context might change what looks like a character, you know, mm-hmm. you think mm-hmm. that's a character thing or something you adopted. Like, no, it's just the context. Well, the circumstances yeah. that we find ourselves in change our behavior dramatically. Yeah. So if I'm playing a neo-Nazi, you know, it's, it's not like I have to, I don't have to go all deep and think about my hate for the Jews and <laughs> my grandmother who was Jewish <laughs> and I just have to find the hate for that. And I was like, no, it's not, it's not that deep. I'm just going into a world where this group of people is the fact in this script, in this world is mm-hmm. actually out to get me. And, and yes, that's the know, point of view of the me. character. Yeah. Right there. And that's just a fact. Right, and, yeah. you know, make and believe everything else if i can make believe that this person is you know my best friend this is my girlfriend this is my wife i can you know that's easy that's really just it's it's great 
You said make believe. Yeah. That's uh, we all say it. Make yeah. believe, make believe, yeah. and but we don't think what because it's so ingrained in us. Yeah. It's really make myself believe. Yeah, whatever the script says. Yeah, you you know. Yeah. When we're kids, we say, hey, let's play, you know, um, you're the daddy. Let's make believe. Yeah. I'm the mommy. You're the daddy. I did that. I mm -hmm. remember doing that, you know, when I was five years old. Yeah. We were a group of four of us, you know. And this little girl said, let's make believe. Mm -hmm. She was the mommy and I was the daddy. And some, you know. It's pretty natural. We do it all yeah. the time. Well, we always fill in what we don't know with shit that we make believe <laughs> anyway make so ourselves believe we do that yeah, anyway it's just so it's not it seems pretty natural it's not like that's what acting is yeah. make ourselves i mean yeah. really not yeah. as a joke when the camera's yeah. running we make ourselves believe right <laughs> i guess the the key is like how do you give yourself permission I, yeah. you know, now you get into the more like whimsical part of it like how do you give yourself permission to yeah. believe that because you know if you're a sane person you got like another part of your brain going like hey uh this isn't actually true and maybe that's a battle but <laughs> well that um, that's what makes yeah. it uh, an artistic or a craft yeah endeavor in that you can stop because when the violence happens for instance yeah uh, you stop because yeah. the violence then has to be choreographed yeah. by professionals can be shot on a different separate yeah. thing you do it up until that point. Yeah. And the people, and by the way, I've worked on sets where they didn't stop. Yeah. Right? No, really. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. No, I mean, that's, you know, you know, that's, sound, it's funny because that's the cool, stuff that they call, they're like, oh, they went full method. I'm like, no, that's not method. That's <laughs> right. bullshit. Bull that's just called bullshit. No one I ever, I ever coached did that. You, no one. Yeah. But I've watched yeah. other people do it, you know. Mm -hmm. I've actually told actors, if he does that again, well, I don't know if I could, you know, because yeah. he, he did some fucked up shit, uh -huh. you know. I said, if he does that again, just fucking knock his fucking teeth out. Yeah. Well, Tell him you will make him believe yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a memory uh, from, from Jonah. Um, and it's really interesting to talk uh, how you're, with the make believe stuff and make yourself believe. Um, I remember I was playing a scene. I was in a scene. I was playing a character that was... Um, I was playing a dumb role and Aaron, you were talking about how like, if you can get this character right, you can go out in the world and fucking kill it with the, with the dumb character. It's really true. And I forget who's the uh, actor turned director that, that plays. Yeah, no, he, Peter Berg. Peter Berg. Peter, Peter, Peter Berg told Peter Berg. me, he said like, yeah. if you can teach one of your students to play really dumb, because yeah. he said he spent 10 years <laughs> learning. He said wow. 10 years how learning play. how to play a dumb guy, you know? 10 he said, years. Yeah, he'd started in college. Should have come to you. You get it uh, <laughs> ten years. <laughs> well, no, no, no. it wasn't with you, yeah, right? No, it wasn't you. with. Me. <laughs> but I worked with him on Hancock, yeah. you know, and he's Fabi. He's just the coolest, you know, director and guy. But he, so he shared that. He said, "If you can do that, most guys can't do that." Yeah, and this, and, and this. So I forget which which scene I was doing, and I was talking to Jonah maybe before I was going up, or maybe right after, or something like that. And you gave me, and this is very um, similar to the stuff you were just talking about, how you how your approach is. But you said, "Don't play dumb. Walk in and assume everyone else is brilliant, <laughs> and then that's going to read mm -hmm. as you are as you are dumb, right?" And, I don't and, remember and, telling. And, that's really this, great. This was this was yeah. Jonah told me on the oh, side. Oh, Jonah, Jonah, Jonah told me the side. That's great, yeah. Jonah. And I was me. like. And I was like, oh, and it, and it was like a night, like it cracked the code for me based on like, you know, how I was working and, it, and it's very similar to the other stuff you're talking about, how your approach is. Mm -hmm. That's a great note, Joe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of saying the same thing though, right? Yeah. 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 Everyone else is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's, it's a reverse but, yeah. thing because yeah. otherwise you judge your character and then you're sitting there going like, I'm yeah. dumb. And then that leads right. to cliche. So stop trying to change you. You just change the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you change. You change well, the whole world. Because by the way, there are times when yeah. all of us will walk into a room and we will be the dumb person because we're surround by, surrounded by brilliant people. Oh, I can't Everybody knows what it's you. like to feel yeah. like, oh. How many times wow. I've walked <laughs> in the room, it's like, oh, I can't believe I'm in this room with these people. <laughs> you, 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 you know, yeah. everyone. What's the, you know. Now, yeah. I'm, you know, I've done it older. I'm so old, much older, but I'm still, sometimes I walk in and I'm going, whoa. Look how these people are great. <laughs> 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 right. They're 
all that. so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with why are they all so stupid? That's, That's Aaron walking in. So like, I can't believe how naive everyone is. <laughs> oh, well, that, is <laughs> that is that is true. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so funny, Jonah. Oh, that's cute what they're saying. They don't even get it. <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of dummies! <laughs> they are so lucky I'm here. They think I'm going on a tangent. <laughs> Going right over their head. <laughs> uh, they don't even know. That's I funny. do say that a lot of times in my head. They, they think I'm on a tangent. They think I'm like off topic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny, man. Yeah, I always think you know the uh, you know the dumb blonde character, the dumb guy. The, anyway, <clears throat> any way you dice it, it's the person who's like not the the, the brightest bulb amongst yeah. the lot, and it's always like. Uh, you can't sit there and be like, I'm stupid. You have to, because plenty of people who don't have the highest IQs in the world yeah. actually have great confidence because they're not necessarily deriving their self-esteem from their intellect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's many different ways to be dumb. You can assume, you know, it can be like for Mark, it was like, oh, everybody here is brilliant and mm -hmm. that can like mm -hmm. take your confidence away. Or you can just just think you're the smartest person in the room and that will make you really feel dumb too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That you think like this is the most many. brilliant yeah, This is brilliant. There's another yeah. way that you just yeah. don't understand it, what they're saying. You just keep hearing yeah. it and yeah. it's okay. And yeah. it's like a different language. Yeah. Like you're trying well, to understand a different language. That's the easiest way to play language. dumb. Just well, don't read the script. <laughs> <laughs> no, that happened, that happened <laughs> to me in life. So I didn't speak English. Yes. So yeah. I didn't speak English the first six years of my life. I spoke, mm. you know, a little, a couple of words because my parents didn't speak English. No one yeah. in my, so people would talk to me, and I would just smile, you know, uh. hoping because you that figured they, out they that would like, like me. You're right. <laughs> they so, would take take pity on you because you were yeah. smiling. At so them. I got put in the first grade, you know, into the mentally. I, I got put into the mentally retarded. They had just what they called <laughs> it. Yeah, then. the word. Yeah, the, the word has changed. Uh, it's yeah. uh, developmentally. Time, but at that time, yeah. it was called the mentally retarded class. Yeah. And I was in I class. got put in one of those classes in high school because my grades were low. <laughs> so they put me in a class called, it was called Strategies. <laughs> Strategies. Yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. See? <laughs> Gave me a little chip on my shoulder. Uh, I'm like, I'm yeah. not stupid, but all right. Yes. Let me get an A in every class for one quarter except <laughs> this class. I'm going to uh, fail this class. You had to like <laughs> yeah. prove to them, like then, screw you. Yeah, and then I was like, fuck it. And then I didn't get good grades after that, but <laughs> yeah. Gave me it's, a little chip on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing journey, you know, that you have been on. It yeah. really is. Yeah. You know, most people, uh, Mike Chat always talks about, I would always talk about discipline, how much uh -huh. discipline we have. And he said, and he was right, I never thought, he, he taught me something, that it's not discipline, it's self-discipline. There is discipline. Uh -huh. What we do is self-discipline. Mm -hmm. We have to do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. and we're yeah. fortunate if we have yeah. some people, people to help us have us. discipline, right? Mm -hmm. It was self discipline that you did. Yeah, staying focused. Right? I mean, how many people were telling you to stay in it? Um, actually, a lot of people, you yeah. know. I mean, I don't know if they meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Important differentiation know, to make. You know, yeah, I mean, I don't know. But, don't look too deeply. You know, I was, <laughs> that's I was, the truth, man. So you, but, you, who I do you know. trust, yeah. man? Who do you I really was, trust? Uh, in I mean, I got generally like, you know, kind of again. But the the world I'm in is around a lot of actors and people, creators, going for it. Yeah, people you know, who are. I definitely got chasing it. ambitions. Got yeah. that, but you and know, then definitely heard like, man, I don't know if I could keep going like you do. <laughs> That's not, you know, yeah. right. It's like a backhanded compliment. Yeah. <laughs> it is a back. Yeah, yeah. That means that means yeah. you should <laughs> give up. That's yeah. what it means, you know. Yeah. yeah. Courage. Well, it means a lot of different things. It, you know, yeah. it can mean so many different things, and you can take it as an insult, or you can take it as evidence of how resilient you are. Yeah, you can. Yeah, tell yourself whatever you want to tell yourself. Yeah. Whatever like helps you get by, and yeah, I mean, you got to. And like, then the courage to keep doing it. Yeah. What's his name? The guy who was showrunner, I'm sorry. Uh, the showrunner. Taylor Sheridan. Taylor yeah. Sheridan. You ever read his story? It's mm -hmm. astonishing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that man has courage. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know? Yeah, he's got guts. He's He really chose a path that was about him doing what he wanted to do instead of waiting for other people. He gave up numerous successful careers mm -hmm. and kept moving till he found the one that he wanted. Yeah, You know, he was yeah. successful in many different careers. I didn't know that, no. Yeah, he, for instance, he was a, a, a very successful writer. Not a, not just a oh, show, yeah. a writer, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. And then he didn't like what they were doing to his writing. Yeah. So he became a director writer. Yeah. Well, that's a big jump. Got you, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, a lot yeah. of people don't make that transition, even yeah. if they want to, because it's really hard mm -hmm. to go from, like, I'm a writer into being a... You have to get somebody to trust that uh -huh. you have the vision. Yeah. They you don't gotta just know say, it yourself. Yeah. You gotta have some, for some reason, have that confidence you that you know. You gotta have confidence, like, you yeah. Know, but well, Sylvester Stallone wrote yeah. Rocky, and they didn't want him... They offered him, yeah. um, I, 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 maybe my number is not right, a million dollars mm -hmm. for the thing just to sell it. You know, and he said, no, he said, I'm going to star in it. He had yeah. never acted. I mean, he had yeah. done some small roles. I actually saw him in some of the small roles, but they were just, you uh -huh. know, co-star, you know, and he wouldn't sell it unless he could act in it, star. Mm -hmm. So they gave him a limited budget, you know, and uh, that's a lot of courage. Yeah. Walk away from a million dollars. It might not be the smartest thing to do for most people. I know. I, yeah. How do you know? You, you really how do you don't know. If know. You, how do you know if you're really good, if you're just delusional? I have plenty of uh, people just want their foot in the door, and that's we not know, that either. We know most people who are just <laughs> delusional. We but get then you got to kind of be <laughs> delusional that's to get right. started. Yeah, that's, know, you do. I know. You do. You got to believe delusional in yourself. Yeah. Get started. We've, yeah. we've seen people... Well, who, the cuteness of you saying, like, well, I booked a Burger King commercial. This is fun. Quick way to make money. My favorite thing in the world yeah. is like, oh, an easy way to make money. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's a delusional belief. Yeah. It is. It is not an easy way to make money. But that was just a naive, ignorant belief. Yeah, yeah but That wasn't yeah. even... Oh, you're right. yeah. I just didn't even know. I yeah. was like, oh, you're okay, right. Cool. Based on... Well, if that if it was that easy. Yeah. Naivete. Yeah. yeah. It's then good to, it's once good I started there. really trying, then I got delusional. <laughs> <laughs> once I knew what it was. I love once that I knew good. it. Yes. Once I knew what it took, then I was like, okay. Yeah. Now we'll move. We gotta in. have a little bit of delusion. <laughs> it's it's great. kind of a crazy thing. The difference to try. between yeah. naivete and delusion. <laughs> Wow. That'll be yes. our title for this podcast. Yes. <laughs> what's, what's that? <laughs> the difference between naivete and delusion. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> it's a lot uh, of courage is what it is. It's a lot of courage. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, um, you know, I just have to be honest, watching you do your thing, it was one of the most unique paths of all the people I've ever coached. Really? Yeah. Really, I, I'm telling you, Jonah, uh, there's no one I know who stuck with it longer than you. And I'm telling yeah. you, I, yeah. not me, and I thought I was pretty tough, you know what I mean? But I did it for around 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I had that two-year, uh -huh. you know, yeah. thing, and it was like, oh, man, I got yeah, I couldn't do it, you know, and uh, that's the truth. It's one of the slowest journeys, <laughs> <laughs> painfully slow. Well, I, I always tell everyone it's a marathon, yeah. you know. Yeah, but you ran the super marathon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what there's that marathon where where you it's run an Iron like, Man, Iron, Iron Man, right? It's called we, Iron Man, and Iron they actually Man. have Iron Man triathlons. Yeah, yeah. They say you run, oh, swim, I and bike. I believe that shit. <laughs> And here you are, yeah. really. You, you, yeah. you, you're, 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 you're tremendous. You know, you're in good health. You're, you have such great spirits. You, you know, it, it didn't do permanent damage. Because when I see it doing, I can see it doing permanent damage to people. You know, and that's when yeah. I start telling them, take a break. You know, you yeah. can come back. You yeah. can come yeah. back to it. Never got into that zone for me. No, I never yeah. told you to do that. Yeah. Interesting. That it Actually, I told you, yeah, to help out, help me out in the studio. Mm -hmm. I needed help. Yeah, but I never said that. But I, you know, I do say that. Oh yeah, to a lot of people. Oh yeah, because I don't want them. I don't want them to. You know, you start to see they start drinking too. You, you know, they, uh -huh. they get going out of, down a road of yeah. 
where they're not taking care of themselves properly based on the pain. They're, they're, mm-hmm. they're basically, you watch somebody start to develop a strategy to deal with the pain. And whatever that is, if it goes on too long, it's time to pivot. Mm-hmm. Take a break. Yeah. Or that. Take Different you, strategy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You drink, drink the pain away. Mm-hmm. Or just, well, that's a yeah. harder. But you never did that. That's yeah. That was like such a special thing, you know. Telling you the truth, you know, that's uh, it was a cool thing, you know. So thank you. Yeah. Well, help to have a you know help to have a a mentor and you know a guy to kind of give me feedback and he has credibility in what you're saying. So I you know yeah you no know, I'm not just kind of a just check make sure I'm not crazy. You know <laughs> yeah, you're right. I won't lie Need to you. It. Yeah. Uh, if I feel that is necessary, I would say take a break. I don't yeah. mean even quit. Yeah. Taking right. a break is not quitting. No. Right. You know, yeah. Uh, sometimes that's all we need, uh, a fresh perspective with a break. and then, Or maybe there's other things you can do coming through a different way, a back way. You, you know, maybe produce or yeah. something else. I mean, I kind of came in different back ways, but all came from the same place. Just focus on that, focus yeah. on this, and then all of a sudden... I'm like right. being a fake manager, and then I was like, "Oh, I can actually." <laughs> <laughs> then I had other clients. I'm like, "Oh, I can, I can get." That, I right. could actually be a real manager. You're I wasn't really, a fake manager, and I then know. oh, you coaching, you and then coach. You know, making connections felt, through yeah. coaching. So I always was, felt I could do yeah. that. I could be a producer, yeah. manager. You know, but it, I didn't love it. Casting director. <laughs> I would have been a great casting that. director. <laughs> I would have been amazing. You, you would have. I know. I know. You, yeah. But it really comes down to what do you actually want to do? The, the combination between where your skills lie and where your passion lies. And if, it, if there's crossover and you can make money on it, mm-hmm. I think that's the dream for a lot of people. I think you yeah. found it, though. Yeah. Your skills and your passion. Yeah. Gets good. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I can't wait <laughs> to see where this is going with you. Develop a passion for something you're already kind of good at. (laughs) That's a good place to start. (laughs) It's true because, you know, I never thought about it that way before, but you weren't an actor when you were in high school or any of that stuff. So it's like that, that passion started later for you. Yeah. And part of the thing of like, oh, I kind of like this and it's fun. And then developing a serious passion, right. That you dug into it in a way where, you know, because so many people study it as a kid and they're like, oh, I have to keep doing this thing. But it was not that way for you. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. That was the last thing I thought I would do. Thank you so much for coming on, Jonah. It was great to talk to you. Uh, Jonah's series, Special Ops Lioness, comes out July 23rd on Paramount+. Plus. And uh, guys, you can find our podcast on YouTube, Spotify, podcasts, anywhere you get your podcasts. We're up and we're live. Thank you so much, Jonah. It was a real pleasure. Anything you want to say? No. I, I do. See. I have oh, one yeah. thing Thank I just want to say is that. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you too, man. No, for real. You know. I love you too, man. Really, Thank you. we just want to do this podcast so that Aaron can tell people <laughs> that right. they that he loves them and that he that uh, they can say it back to him in a public setting. I've been telling everyone <laughs> I love you know. In class, yes. I, I, I've, I've been saying, like, you know, why are you all so stingy with your love? <laughs> I tell them. No, I, t- I tell them in class, Mark. Aaron's they, on a love tour. I know. Oh, he is. He's why on a love tour. Why are you all so tour? stingy? It doesn't cost nothing. You know, <laughs> I mean, don't give it if you don't want to give it. But otherwise, yeah. come on, give I love, love you, Aaron. I love you. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you, you know. for being my fucking, <laughs> <laughs> fucking mentor, all that shit. Uh, yeah. you, uh, oh, man, people are stingy with their uh, love, Jonah. You really taught me everything I know. And, um, yeah, it's great. And I owe everything to you. Blah, blah, blah. But that's actually true. <laughs> 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 well, not everything. Yeah, no. No, so, yeah, no, 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 no. It's good. No.